This segment of In the Trenches sponsored by Dandy RV Superstore, now carrying Tiff and Zephyr. More info after the show. In the trenches, TideSports.com. We've stepped away from the quad, down to a spot right off Jug Factory Road. It's a Tuscaloosa institution. It's game day, and you're in the trenches. Let's go. And then when we first opened, they had a stove right there against that wall that she used to make hamburgers, cheeseburgers, fish sandwiches. And we didn't cook that many ribs. They would clean the ribs right here on this counter, put them on the pit. Maybe they'll buy a box of ribs per day, maybe two boxes. And uh, most people bought those fish and which was delicious. Cheeseburger, man, out of this world. I'm not kidding. How old were you when when, when, when they first opened? I was just, I guess, 12, 13 years old. Like that. And they had you working there right off the bat. Uh huh. Yeah, I even was holding water in the wheelbarrows for them to put the bricks up. Yeah. I had a creek back there. It makes the perfect rack of ribs from Dreamland. What makes the perfect? Uh, I guess it, you would say the, the wood. We use hickory wood right behind you there. The wood? Yeah, wood really makes them. That's a lot to do with the flavor. And we slow cook. And the sauce, of course, makes the best rib. About the sauce. Do you want to give away any, away any secrets with the sauce? Oh, no. Just turn the love and care. That's what Dad always told us to say. That's it. A little, a little TLC and some moonshine. That's all you need. You don't need nothing else in <laughs> You doing all that? I didn't know you was taping all. He follows everything. <laughs> when it first opened, uh-huh. was it an immediate success? Did it take some time? Did what, it grow it, on people? Uh, now, what it was, when it first opened, it was predominantly blacks. Whites didn't come out here because they didn't know about the place. The only white knew about the place was the people that would bring the beer or the bread, and they would sit down. Drink the sauce and chase it with a beer. That sauce was just that good. Ray Perkins there was out there. And John Jr. got to be good friends with Ray Perkins. And he would take ribs from here. And he would just give them to people and try this, try this. Try. So the people start coming there. And, this, and then football players would come out. And then that's, it, took, it took over. I'm going to tell you what, it was so successful that the black people used to come out. They wouldn't come out anymore because they said, we don't have no other shit. The white people are taking over. We would all, I would see all these big stars and stuff, and I would try to get them in. My dad said, no, no, no. Mm-mm. We don't do that. We don't do that. Because those people going to come every now and then. These regular people, they're going to be here every week. Uh-uh. They stand outside and wait like everybody else. And I used to ask Dad, when people come in, he said, let me tell you something. You treat the grandparents good. Because the grandparents are going to bring the other kids. And it's going to become a generation. You don't do like that. And, so, and, and that's why I think the family atmosphere, to make everybody feel so good, that's what makes it. I like it like that. It's kind of going to make me get a little teary. It's sort of kind of heart. It's kind of heartfelt because I don't t- the idea of knowing that where your father started, your mom and dad started, and to see where it is now, and to see you go somewhere you see a billboard or something with your dad's pitch on, and you just like it's unbelievable. It really, really is. My name's Baron Knox. I've been there like five years. Five years. Yeah. What is what is game day like? At Dreamland. It's pretty hectic. We, we start in the morning with mostly to go on. We work our way on up. Binge all day until maybe like an hour before the game starts. So we'll, we'll probably sell anywhere from 1,500 to uh, 2,000 slabs on the game. 1,500 to 2,000 slabs on a game. On a game day. <laughs> Dreamland Virgin. Yeah. That's the Dreamland Virgin of the day. Oh. Get him. Yeah. He lost his virginity today. When we come off the interstate, I said, he said something about the billboard said Dreamland Barbecue. I said, oh, well, I'm going to have to take you before we go over to the university. I'm going to take you up there and show you the original Dreamland. 
hey, I told him, I said, times you could come in here and you might sit down and be sitting next to Kenny Stabler or somebody like that because everybody comes to Dreamland when they're in Tuscaloosa. Got the best ribs. That's right. What's the menu? Ribs, white bread, and sauce. That's all you need. That's it. How do you feel about it? It's great. Great. Yeah. So, thumbs up or what? Nice. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Yeah. My favorite thing about ribs, there's no choice but gluttony. That's it. You're in the trap. Thinking about a new motorhome, travel trailer, or fifth wheel? Now's the best time to really save during the Debbie RV Superstore Trade and Save Sale. You'll get top dollar for your trade-in and save even more with prices marked down on every motorhome, travel trailer, and fifth wheel on our huge 25-acre lot. Now's the time. Debbie RV at Oxford is the place to trade and save like never before with low, low prices and top dollar trade-ins. Hello, I'm Jim Dandy. Come see us for the best deal and top dollar on your trade-in. Come see Dandy for a dandy of a deal just off I-20 at exit 188 in Oxford next to Camping World.